Yes, you're here live with Keith R.A. Lindsay with another great episode of WarZoneNews.com. Yes, where we're bringing you politics that's under the cover on what you will not get on the newspaper and, and what you will not get from your local news. Okay, I'm here live. I'm running for county legislator here in the 4th District of Niagara Falls. My name is Keith R.A. Lindsay. Yes, Keith R.A. Lindsay. I am running to represent you on a county level here in Niagara Falls. Uh, however, representing you in your district, which is the fourth district of Niagara Falls. I want to talk about our fiscal responsibility and what's going on in our world of politics, okay? Right now, uh, of course, I, I know that I'm running for county legislator and typically when you are ready running for county legislator, you want to think more county. You want to be more concerned with issues that come from the county, of course. But my thing is, I'm not just concerned with the county, I'm also concerned with the 4th District here in Niagara Falls and what's going on in the city of Niagara Falls. I do know that in our district, we have a issue, a, an alarming issue, that is as far as the, the the wealth of dilapidated homes here in our district. Now, if you have been paying attention on what has been going on here in the 4th District, or here, not even just the 4th District, but if you have been paying attention on what's been going on here in the city of Niagara Falls, you would be able to understand that community development has joined forces with code enforcement. Now you probably would say, well Keith, what does that mean? And why is that an issue, Keith? Well, it's an issue because community development is paid by, it's paid from HUD, it's paid from the feds, okay? It comes from, the, the, the community development is paid by the federal government, okay? Code enforcement is paid by the city's government, by the city's local government, which means how is it that you're going to give a department that's made by the city and put it in direct control with community development or the head of community development, giving him more power, giving him more responsibility, which will enable him to write himself another raise as he just did. What are we going to do about this? This is called co-mingling. You co-mingle entities or you co-mingle uh, 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 departments that's not supposed to be mingled. Misappropriation of this or funds is what's happening. And we need to get a better understanding as a community, 4th District, on what's happening right before our eyes. How is it the same people or the same department that is going to issue allotments for rehabs, auctions, and the same department that's actually putting these dilapidated homes on the auctions, into the auctions and putting it out. How is the same department that's getting code enforcement going to be able to issue, give you the, the apartment or give you the home and at the same time be able to find you and or kick you out and throw you out on the street. From what I hear and from what I read and through my research, I hear and read that the city of Niagara Falls is going to benefit and save by merging code enforcement with community development. And we can't allow this. We need to ask more questions. We need more public forums. Our community is left out and left behind on, on totally important issues, crucial issues. I, myself, was the fair housing president of the entire city, so therefore, Dilapidated homes was definitely on the top of my ballot, at the top. 
So yes, this touches me emotionally. This makes me want to help spread and broadcast to the people exactly what is going on. Yes, I understand you read it in the paper and then when you read it in the paper, you take that to be gold. But the paper cannot question what's happening. We are here to question what's happening. And I am here to get you as a people, as a constituency, to be more aware of what's going on around you and all of the issues that is truly affecting you. My name is Keith R. A. Lindsay. I am running for county legislator here in the 4th District of Niagara Falls. And I ask if you need, want true change to your district, if you want true eyes that's going to constantly watch your community, I say you write in Keith Lindsay. You write my name in when you go to the ballot November 7th. I am here for you and nobody else. You write my name in Keith Lindsay in that ballot this coming November. Catch me on Facebook, Keith Lindsay, Keith R A Lindsay on Facebook. Catch me on my Instagram, Keith Lindsay at 1983. Okay? I love you all. Get in touch with me. Express your opinion to me. Get in touch with me if you want to get into these videos so you can further express your opinions on what's happening here in the district of Niagara Falls. Oh, I tell you, I love you all. And you all make sure you have a peaceful, blessed day.